Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In this video, we will discuss the Hilbert transform. Here we will see what is Hilbert transform, its introduction and properties and applications of Hilbert transform. So let's start with the, the basics of Hilbert transform. Let's see what is it. If xt is a signal and we represent its Hilbert transform by xht. The signal is represented by xt, a function of time, and the Hilbert transform of this function xt is represented by xht, h stands for the Hilbert transform. Then xht is obtained by providing minus pi by 2 phase shift to every frequency component present in xt. Since we may have uh, many frequencies in this uh, xt signal, the signal of uh, time, Okay, so if we phase shift uh, every frequency component that is present in this signal by minus pi by 2, then we will get the Hilbert transform of this xt. So this is the basic definition of Hilbert transform. So mathematically, I can uh, represent this definition of Hilbert transform as follows. See here. This is the formula to calculate the Hilbert transform and here we will calculate the inverse Hilbert transform that we will get the function back from the Hilbert transform. Okay, so let's see this xht Hilbert transform of xt is obtained by this formula 1 by pi xt convolution 1 by t. This is the symbol of convolution and it can be represented as 1 by pi integral minus infinity to infinity and this convolution can be represented by integral minus infinity to infinity x tau divided by t minus tau d tau okay this is x t convolution 1 by t okay this part so in this way you can easily calculate the Hilbert transform of any function x t on any signal x t now Let's see how to calculate the inverse Hilbert transform. If you again uh, want to get back the xt from its Hilbert transform, then you will use this formula. xt is equals to minus 1 upon pi integral minus infinity to infinity xh tau, the Hilbert transform xh tau divided by t minus tau d tau. It is integrated with respect to tau from minus infinity to infinity and, and you will get the signal xt back from its Hilbert transform. Let's now discuss the properties of Hilbert transform. Here we will discuss uh, four properties of Hilbert transform. Let's see each property one by one. The first property of Hilbert transform is a signal xt and its Hilbert transform xht have the same energy density spectrum. So you need to know what is energy density spectrum. Actually, this energy density spectrum gives the distribution of energy of a signal in frequency domain. How the energy is distributed in the signal in frequency domain that is at in corresponding to frequency. So the signal xt and its Hilbert transform have the same energy density spectrum. Got it? The second property. A signal xt and its Hilbert transform have the same autocorrelation function. So do you know what is autocorrelation function? If not then uh, let me tell you in a short. Actually uh, this uh, autocorrelation function is a special case of uh, cross correlation. So let me first uh, tell you what is cross correlation. Actually the cross correlation uh, between two different waveforms or uh, signals is nothing but the match or similarity between one signal and the time delayed version of another signal okay clear so you can say that uh, the cross correlation between two signals is nothing but it is simply it, it tells you that how much one signal is related to the time delayed version of another signal so as i already told you that uh, autocorrelation function is nothing but a special case of uh, cross correlation function so what is autocorrelation in autocorrelation function we measure the match or the coherence between a signal and its own delayed replica okay 
here we have a single function and we see the correlation that is the similarity or matching between that signal and its delayed replica here uh, we do not have another function okay so this is just a special case of a cross correlation function okay i think it's uh, clear to you uh, here we will not study in detail in another lectures we will see it so let's focus here only on the properties of hilbert transform instead of going deeper into this uh, correlation function so the point is this xt signal and this hilbert transform xht have the same autocorrelation function and now we know what is autocorrelation function clear the third point the third property a signal xt and its uh, hilbert transform xht are mutually orthogonal so we can write it mathematically as uh, integral minus infinity to infinity xt xht dt equals to zero this is the condition for orthogonality so if they are mutually orthogonal then this integral would be zero now let's see the last fourth property of hilbert transform if xht is a hilbert transform of xt then the hilbert transform of xht is minus of xt clear uh, we can write it mathematically as if this hilbert transform h stands for h is what h is the hilbert transform if the hilbert transform of xt is denoted by xht then the if i again take the hilbert transform of this xht okay this is already hilbert transform and i and i again want to find its hilbert transform then the hilbert transform of xht would be minus of xt so this is very important property okay that we will get the negative of the signal back if i mm, find the hilbert transform of the hilbert transform okay so these are the properties of hilbert transform now let's uh, discuss some uh, applications of hilbert transform uh, there are uh, many applications of hilbert transform the hilbert transform is used to realize phase selectivity in generation of a kind of modulation that is known as single sideband modulation where we have only one sideband present in the modulation so it is used in uh, realizing the phase selectivity in the generation of this ssb modulation single sideband modulation okay okay and the another application is uh, it provides a mathematical basis for the representation of band pass signals here one important thing that uh, you should uh, keep in mind is that the hilbert transform applies to any signal that can be transformed by fourier transform that is uh, that is fourier transformable so this was all about the hilbert transform basics applications and also the properties of hilbert transform so hope you like the video thanks for watching friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video see you soon in the next video till then bye bye